The passing of a $9.5 million school bond, it's also the passing of an era. The Melba School District is ready to build a new elementary school, which also means demolishing their old historic high school. Lauren Johnson is live in studio with much more. Don, not everyone is happy about the old school being torn down. It was built in 1935. So before demolition crews arrive next month, we're looking back at the old Melba High School and preserving a bit of the Gem State's history. Hey, Darren, is that your phone number right there? <laughs> yeah, for a good oh, time. <laughs> Darren and Brian went to school together here at the old Melba High School. It's been vacant for over a decade. They had not been back inside since they were students in the 90s until today. It's definitely neat going back in and seeing all the old classrooms from all the old teachers and stuff like that and reminiscing about, you know, times with other students in there. And Wow, this is better than looking inside. A bit of a time machine, like, you know, and it was pretty sad to see how dilapidated it actually is. I can see why they're tearing it down. It's, it's, it's pretty rough shape. The two classmates were here to draft plans for the high school's demolition. They'll possibly be a part of tearing down the building that gave them their education. Dimensions and stuff like that. And so after inspecting the inside of the vacant high school, we took a walk around the outside. This wall was notorious for people scratching their names in the brick. It could be Betty Marley, it, it Melissa could. Tabor. Look at there's Jeff Pyburn again. Jeff Pyburn, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sabrina is hella fine. They understand why so many would be upset to see the historic building demolished, but don't see a way around it. If it could be rehabilitated, I'd love to see it stay. I always hate to see architecture come down. Realistically, it's just not, it's not feasible to keep. It just, it costs so much to renovate this place. We never noticed this kind of stuff, but now that we're older and like he says, where he's a mason and, cause that's, I mean, that's, that's not cast concrete. That's carved out of stone. Those, are, those have been there a long time. That's years and years and years of weathering on those things. And you, I mean, it's still got a pretty proud face on it. Oh, that whole deal up on top. Yeah, they're gonna save that, so. you know. The bricks, it'd be cool to keep some it, of these bricks. No, I just hate to see it go, but at the same time, it's neat. I'm glad I got the opportunity to come back and, you know, walk through it one last time and, and reminisce a little. Melba's elementary school's principal tells me the vacant high school has become a serious safety hazard. In addition, they do need more room to build the new grade school. In studio, Lauren Johnson, six on your side.